it's far. Better late than never is what I got to say. Oh, and don't you forget, I got another one. I know you all probably know, but we're going to go over them anyway. Woo! Ooh! I tell you, I've done a little zen about my cookies. <laughs> I'll tell you all about it. But, oh my goodness, so I'll just tell you the names of them, and then we're going to go through each one with a fine-tooth comb. I'm just kidding. And, um, and uh, find out how they taste, all right? So let's see what we got here. Now, they're not my order. So this is the Neela Bean Cupcake. This is the uh, Chocolate Peanut Butter Chip. Ooh, 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 ooh. This is the Berry Crunch. This is the Kentucky Butter Cake, which I've never had a Kentucky Butter Cake. There you see, right there, that little baby. And then the cold cookie, those are all warm. And the cold cookie, ooh, child. Oh, look at that, that's the caramel coconut fudge. <laughs> oh, goodness. Now, I know you're seeing crazy on my shirt, but it says crazy plant lady, because, oh, girl, I cannot pet boy, man, child, <laughs> woman, with a Y, with an X, um, they, wherever, whoever you all are, Dogs, cats, whatever. <laughs> um, giraffes, birds. Anyway, um, is I just love plants. I just, I just love plants. And if you know, the first, when I go to Lowe's, the first place I go is whoop, to the clearance rack. And oh, the finds you can find. But it just breaks my heart how they don't water them, and half of them are dead. I'm like, I'm not gonna spend a dollar, or well, they don't even charge a dollar now. Now it's like three dollars on a dead plant. I can make compost all by myself. But anyway, but there are some deals there if you just go, ooh, ooh, I love me some plants, but I gotta get them in the ground. And my problem is, is that I've been so busy. <laughs> Retirement is a busy job. But uh, that I ha I've gotta get out in that garden and I'm way behind. Well, actually I'm about two years behind because last year I was so ill and that I there was no way, it took months and then, um, you know, my feet things and all that. And if you don't know, watch another vlog and you'll find out my background. But anyway, my feet are better. Um, toes aren't perfect. Feet aren't perfect. But, you know, good enough that I've got to get in that garden. But then I like walking my dog in the mornings too. So, anyway, let's hop to it. Let's hop to it. Let's hop to it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. Um, the Nilla Bean. Nilla Bean. Which one are you, baby? Oh, this is a big one. Ooh. Oh, it's warm. Now, you all, I'm here at like 6 o'clock on a Tuesday at night. I always come in the mornings on Monday. Well, not always. Sometimes I'm not able to. So this, I thought, well, this will be a test to see if they're good in the evenings. But guess what? They're warm and delicious, soft and sweet. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to try to hold this baby up. Oh, it's so warm and it's going to fall apart. I'll see if you can get a good picture of it. Oh, there you go. It says it's a new cookie. It's a duet of vanilla bean flavor from the cookie to the cream cheese frosting topped with white sprinkles. Now that, that does, see, it's a really big cookie. Let me, I can't even show you how big it is. Where's the light, Schmite? There. Oh, <laughs> there you go. Oh, that's a big cookie. Ooh, the icing's good. Oh, oh cookie fell. <laughs> Guess I gotta eat it. Mmm, I don't want it. Oh, there's icing all inside my gear shift. Mmm, I'll tell you. That cream cheese frosting is so good. I'm getting it. I don't want my gear shift to get all messed up. Anyway, oh, I didn't turn off my car. What's wrong with me? Okay, there we go. Okay, there we go. Um, so let's, I can't really cut it. I'd break it in front of you. Ooh, baby, baby. Ooh. Oh, baby, baby, baby. I'm excited, and I want something sweet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, let's take a bite, right? You all, you all, hang on, let me take another bite. Mm. Now, you all know who, uh, if you all know me, I'm Barb. If you all don't know me, I'm a chocolate lover, peanut butter lover. But I did a little zen before I came over here and I said, okay, Barb, 
You got to open yourself up more. You got to open yourself up more. You don't want to be too biased. I mean, we're all biased. And if you don't think you are, well then, good for you. But I think you might be in a little bit of denial. But anyway. Oh, that is good. I don't. I think it has more icing than it needs. But of course, there's, you know, parts of this cookie. Oh, it just got all messed up. You know, that you can spread that icing to. Goodness sakes, Barbara. Let's see. So you could spread that icing over there. Ooh, let's just do it. Mm. What? Is this cookie so good? And the frosting is divine. And I, when I read it, I said white sprinkles. But the white sprinkles add to it. A plus. Can you believe I'm going to say this? I'd say a nine on a bad day, but I think that might be a ten. What's going on with me? Maybe it's a nine and a half. It's a little sweet. Maybe it's a nine and a half. I don't know. I might have to taste it again at the end. It's funny because the cookies that I'm not sure if I taste more than the ones I'm really sure. Oh, I'm already happy. I am happy schmappy. Oh, my gosh, you all. Okay, chocolate peanut butter chip. That's the next one. Oh, now, this one's going to fall apart, too. These are big babies, and they're warm and delicious, soft and sweet. Can you see that little puppy? Oh, that's pretty. It looks smaller than it is. It's lip-smacking chocolate cookie packed with meaty peanut butter Reese's chips. I'd have never heard of a meaty peanut butter Reese's chip. Maybe that's a little different than a regular Reese's chip, but I doubt it. But I love a Reese's chip. Oh, my gosh. These, look at, I don't know if you can see. Oh, look at how heaven it is. Heaven, I'm in heaven. I'm a dancing on the walls of Reese's cups. Okay. Oh, come on. Oh, get your bottom over to Cookie Crumble. I mean, crumble cookies. Oh my gosh. That is a 10 plus. 11, 12, 13, I don't know, but oh my gosh, it's warm. I'm, I'm sorry, but I'm looking on the floor for the crumbs because I don't want to waste them. <laughs> mm. Oh my gosh, I'm only on the second cookie. What am I going to do? Maybe all the other ones aren't good, but my gosh, sometimes when I get real excited in the beginning, you know, when I'm reviewing something, not necessarily crumble, but I get all excited in the beginning and then everything goes, yeah. oh my goodness. Oh, I love that cookie. It's like a warm, soft brownie. And then you got that peanut butter coming in. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I wonder if it's because it's the, at the end of the day. <laughs> I don't think so. Oh my goodness sakes. Oh, these crumbs. I'm just going to eat them, eat them, eat them. I am loving this. <laughs> How y'all doing? I hope you're all doing all right. I'm doing much better than yesterday and the day before. Um, but I needed today just to kind of settle too. And uh, thank you for hanging with me and waiting on me and if you're watching it, then you then you did wait on me. Or maybe you didn't wait, but you know what I mean. Thank you for watching is what I'm trying to say. I'm a little slow on the go. Um, oh, 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 oh. Crumble cookies is coming to town. I am happy. Oh, okay, let's go to the third one. Three already. Berry Crunch. Now, you know, like all those Berry Crunch cereals. Now, this one got a little icing from the other one, which doesn't bother me any. Oh, this one. Okay, this one. <clears throat> Let me see if you can see it. Oh, it's a fun little cookie. That almost looks like Fourth of July. Could have done it for... Or Memorial Day. But it's not Memorial Day yet, is it? No. Oh, well. Um, so, this one is a soft cornbread cookie surrounded in crushed corn cereal. Topped with a milky vanilla glaze and sprinkled with crunchy 
cereal berries. Hmm, corn bread cookie. A cornbread cookie. Now, cornbread. Now, I was thinking about that. I think I vlogged this. I reviewed a cornbread cookie at some point, and I was saying I wasn't raised with cornbread. But now I'm thinking that my mother did make some cornbread. I just was never a cornbread fan, which, you know, different strokes, different folks. But here, everybody has cornbread. I mean, everybody, all the time. But, um... Sometimes down here I feel like it's sweeter, but you know, I mean, I don't recall having everybody's cornbread up north, so who knows? I don't know these things. Now, <clears throat> I changed my earrings for this one, but oh, it's such a fuss, such a fuss. Should we eat it? You're like, Barbara, go ahead, go ahead. Well, usually I talk a lot, and today I'm just going bing, 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 bing. Well, heck, that's how I feel, and that's how we're going to do it. Okay. Come here to Barbara. Ooh, ooh, child, things are gonna get easier. I wish, well, let me try it first, but I, I have a feeling. You see, this is very crunch. Odd. Well, I have to say, in all fairness, I'm not a big cornbread fan. It tastes like cornbread, that's for sure. I was hoping for more of this, um, what do they call it? Melt in your mouth, buttery glaze. See, there's not a lot of that on there. Let me just taste that. Yeah, that would have been nice to have more of it. Ooh, a little salt kick to it. The berries give a little crunch, but that's it. It's a good cookie. It's not my, it's not the boat I want to float in. But it's not my ship to sail. <laughs> not that I can sail. I learned a little bit, but. You don't want me, you don't want me trying to sail your boat. <laughs> um, huh. It's real different. It definitely tastes like cornbread. I mean, you know, if I wasn't doing this review, I probably just wouldn't order it when I heard a cornbread cookie. But, I mean, it's a soft, warm cornbread cookie. If you like cornbread, it'd be a lot of fun. The berry crunch adds a little dimension of crunch. The glaze is super strong. I feel like it could have a little more of it. I'd say a seven and a half. I mean, for a cornbread fan, it would be an eight, probably. Maybe higher. But, you know, <laughs> I'm the one reviewing it. <laughs> so, anyway. Oh, goodness. Goodness, goodness. Here we are. I have already reviewed three. I wonder what time it is. It's only 13 minutes. Barbara's doing better. <laughs> But anyway, it's beautiful out. We're having a beautiful spring. I hope you all are. I know I say that almost in everything I do, but it's true. This spring has been so nice. Some years it's just like cold, 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 rainy, cold, rainy, cold, snow, cold, rainy. And then all of a sudden it's hot. That hasn't been it this year. Oh, my goodness. We've had a nice, beautiful spring. Have you ever heard of a smoke tree? A smoke tree, um, I was just saw some when I was driving. I was driving on a back road over here. And... Um, Oh, look it up, smoke trees, but they are really in bloom right now. And so they have these really light, fluffy, airy blooms that are like, well, from far away it might look like smoke, but they're like reddish, rusty color. Oh, they're pretty. Excuse me. <laughs> oh, goodness sakes. You know, somebody has called me a crazy old, what's it she said? Go granny, go. I don't know. Somebody's called me granny, and I thought I saw that as a compliment. I have never had children, so I don't have grandchildren, but, you know, I, where I worked for years, I thought of them as my grandchildren, but, you know, that's just not, they, I didn't give birth to all those kids. I mean, I, you know, but anyway, um, <clears throat> but I just saw it as a compliment. I, I'm happy where I'm at. I, I like my age. <clears throat> I'm proud that I've gotten on this earth and done all right all these years, and and um and doing all right and loving life so you know <clears throat>
can't complain. Um, so let's go to the next one. Oh, this guy just, he's turning around. I was like, what you doing, babe? Um, okay, don't worry. He's not, I'm not trying to, sorry, I shouldn't use babe. Some people don't like that. That's offensive and I'm up, I apologize. Um, okay, so next one is the Kentucky butter cake. Now I've never had Kentucky butter cake. So, I, yeah, okay, well, let's get this out. This is the last warm cookie, my friends. Look at that little puppy. Ooh! A yellow butter cake cookie dripping with a melt-in-your-mouth buttery glaze. Huh? Have I screwed up? Dripping with a melt-in-your-mouth buttery glaze. I don't see a buttery glaze on this. Have I messed up? It's got powdered sugar on it. A yellow butter cake cookie. This is what it says from the internet. Dripping with a melt in your mouth buttery glaze. Because I remember going, oh, a buttery glaze. I'd like that. Well, I don't know what happened. Maybe they ran out of buttery glaze. I have no idea. I don't know. Oh, I'm going to tell you. the man. I, I don't know if he's a manager or what he is, but he's a really nice guy, Josh. He waited on me today, and he's always so welcoming and all friendly. But I got to say, Josh, out there, what happened to the buttery glaze? Maybe they changed their mind or the head offices did, and I don't know. I didn't look on the Internet today. Well, let's break it open, all righty. I'm curious what this is because I've never had Kentucky butter cake. Now, I had a college roommate, and she was a sweetie pie. She uh, got married and moved to Kentucky. But, you know, times times change, and people have kids and stuff, so I haven't talked to her in decades. I hope she's all right. Hey there, if you're watching, I doubt she's ever going to watch one of these. I don't even think she knows that I'm doing them. I mean, why would she? <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, but Kentucky, anyway. Oh, oh, God, that's a long story. I don't know if I should tell you. But, well, I'll wait till another time. That, that's some, I don't know, some big old car. Or maybe it's a helicopter. I don't know what it is. Um, but, um, well, you know, when you're driving north from North Carolina, Kentucky's run, right on that border of Ohio. And I was thinking about the World Trade Center. Can you believe? Oh, shoot, I start telling the story. And I can just hear some of my, well, I can hear my partner say, Barbara, you can't just start a story and then not tell it. And, well... Sometimes I just, just don't want to tell it because I know it's long, but here you go. But 9-11, I was at the doctor's office, and I had taken Penny super early to the airport because she was going up to Maine, Portland, Maine, to um, see her parents because she would go camping for, for a month with them. And so um, I had dropped her off. I had came home, and I had cut myself really deep gash in my ankle. Oh, the scar still. I don't know if you can see it. <laughs> No, you can't. I can't tell you. But the scar is like this long. Anyway, and uh, I had, I was cleaning up this little room that I had, and I had a record player and a stereo or something, and I was stepping, and the corner or something just gashed into it really deep. And I ignored it at first. I thought, this is kind of bad. So I went to the doctor's office, and um, when I walked in, just one person was in the waiting room, and they were just staring at the screen. I said, what's going on? Because I could see a plane going into the buildings. And he says, oh, a plane flew into the World Trade Center. And I said, what? And he goes, a, pl some, a plane just flew into the World Trade Center. I said, like, do you get what's going on? I said, do you? I said, I used to, I worked there. I worked there. I said, thousands of people are dead. Thousands of people are dead. And he just kind of looked at me like I was a crazy lady, crazy plant lady. Um, and I was like, no, really, the, the, it, because I, I knew the buildings, you know. I mean, I worked for Bungie Grain Corporation back in the 70s, and then I worked, um, oh gosh, that was, I was like doing some kind of accounting thing. I was a fill-in, was a temp. I started, I, I would wear a suit, and sometimes I get so crazy bored, I do cartwheels down the hallway. <laughs> oh, I knew this was too long of a story. Okay, I would talk fast. And so then... And then, uh, and then I wore these dirndls because I did another temp job and we handed out cheeses there and we had to wear our hair in those braids because I had long hair. I didn't have glasses. I was smaller, but, um, I, they had the old thing and the little dirndl and I had to hand out cheeses to the World Trade Center. But I tell you, when we were up in Bra Bungie, Bungie, <laughs> Bungie, 
Bungie, Bungie, Grain Corporation. Anyway, you when you go way up there in the World Trade Centers, you can feel it sway up there. I mean, they were high, and um. So when I, he had said, and I saw it on the screen, I was like, oh my God, because I knew how many people would be up on those floors and that they would be dead. I was freaked out. So I walk and then they call my name. So I walk in and I show him, he goes, okay, ma'am, we need to do this and this and this and this and blah, blah, blah. And, and I said, did you hear about it? And the, the doctor's like, yeah. And the nurse is like, like, like they were just in work mode and they just weren't getting, it was so hard to compute for people. And, um. And so then I walked, when I, when he fixed me up and he gave me the Silvadine and all that kind of stuff, and he's like, you need to keep your foot up for at least, I don't know, 48 hours or 72 hours, something like that. Keep it elevated and keep this cream on it and, you know, don't do anything, don't walk on it, something like that. And then <clears throat> I walk out of the office and and I see that the other plane had crashed in the other building. And I was like, whoa, I knew this was big. I mean, I knew this was like big. I was like, ho, ho, ho. I was like telling everybody, did you hear? Did you hear? Did you see? I got out of there and I was in. Now, I'm one of those people that when it's a crisis, I get in hyper-focus mode. <clears throat> now, there's been one or two times in my life where I kind of fall apart. And I could tell you those, those stories. But usually, if it's crisis, I stay in hyper-focus mode. I can go bing, 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 bing. Well, I went home. What was the deal? I went home and uh, I'm trying to get a hold of Penny and all that stuff. And and because I, I figured, oh, my gosh, you know, she's flying to Maine. And then I'm hearing about the Pentagon. I can't remember how everything fell. But I was just like, okay, I got to get to Penny. I know her plane's probably landing somewhere. So I just like went to, I had a VW, did I have a VW bug then? I had a little car then. I think I did. Maybe I didn't. I can't remember which car I had, but it was a little car. It, I don't think I had that car then. But anyway, so um, I went to Walmart, got everything I could think of. I got my sleeping bags from the house. I got waters. I got a big world atlas. I said, I'm ready to drive anywhere to get her because I knew she, there's no way she's going up in Maine with everything that was happening. And uh, finally, I get. Uh, she calls me, and she's like, you know, they landed us. There's The airport's full. This is before cell phones, you know. So they had long lines at the um, phone booth. She goes, you know, I just got here. Uh, she said, uh, they're taking us to a hotel. Um, I can't get a car rental. I can't get a bus. Everything's down. Um, and I said, don't worry. I'm going to come and get you. And she's like, well, I don't even know where I am. I don't know where I am. I said, just, uh, you know, call me the next time you can call me. And I can't remember how it all happened. I think she just told me where she was and... And then I think, I don't know how it happened because we didn't have cell phones then, I don't think. Now, I was working then. I can't remember how it went. Maybe that one phone call. Maybe there were two before I left the house. And then she said the name of the hotel and where it was. Well, it was right on the border of Kentucky and Ohio. And I, I kind of knew right where it was because I was going, I was commuting back and forth to Ohio for, from a relationship I had. Well, not a relationship, a good, good friendship. And uh, so... Um, so I was going back and forth, and so I was like, okay, um, you know, a good old buddy of mine. Anyway, so um, so I was like, you know, don't worry, just, you know, if you're, you know, just stay at that hotel, and I'll get there. It's going to take me a while, but I'll get there. And I said, um, you know, even if it's 10 hours from now, I'm, I'm heading out, because my car was already packed with heaven knows whatever. Well, the, you know, by that time, I heard about the Pentagon. Anyway, I just knew the, the country was under attack, and I was kind of like, in my mind, we didn't have the communications we have now. So it was kind of like I put on my radio and it was all fuzzy and, you know, all crackly. And I'm driving down the road and I didn't have air conditioning. I have the windows down. It's crackly. I'm driving, trying to listen to the radio. Oh, goodness. I was like, okay, the highways, expressways could be bombing. You know, they could be bombs in them. I don't know. So I'd be ready to take the back roads. But on I went. But it was it was wild. But I was focused. I wasn't scared. Well, I was a little nervous that there could be bombs and you know bomb in the road where I was driving. Got up there at night. Went to the lobby. The lobby was packed with people. People were sleeping on the floor and everything. And I was like, you know, do you have the room? Blah blah blah. And they give me the room number. And it was all twisty turny. This hotel. It was a weird hotel. Finally, I knock on the door and I think I must have brought pizza with me. I don't know. I brought some food with me. I don't know how that happened. Anyway, who knows? And so anyway, I maybe I stopped somewhere. I can't remember. So anyway, and she opens the door crack and I was like, Penny, it's me, it's Barb. And she's like, Oh, thank you. You're here, you're here. She was so lost, she was so confused. 
she's the kind of person that she tends to more freeze in an emergency. Um, but other times she can be really ding, 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 ding. But this was pretty overwhelming. And I could see how it was overwhelming and scary. And she didn't know what was going on. And we just sat there and talked and stuff. And I can't remember. I think we spent the night in the hotel room the next morning. We booked it out of there, Dano. I don't think we left that night. I think we left super early the next morning. I think. I can't remember. She's not here for me to ask. But anyway, that's that story. But, I mean, that's not a story. Well, the story of the truth. But but it was it was a wild time. It was a wild time. And... Um, you know, but how the world, how the world, how this, the United States united, I mean, it didn't matter if you're Democrat, Republican, it didn't matter, you know, what color your skin was, everybody was just trying to help everybody and support each other. And, you know, I lived in New York City before that time. And so I, I knew, you know, just how horrific it must have been for them. And, and, um, but everybody had flags up and, you know, signs everywhere, signs on billboards, everything. It was that part was beautiful you know that people can come together and um you know i don't want a war or anything to happen to get us to all come back together again oh goodness sakes the world and our country but but anyway that was quite a time and i know now that seems like ancient history to some of you young folks but whoo doggies anything can happen at any time you just gotta remember that okay that I've taken up all the time, and I'm probably going to go over again. So caramel coconut fudge is the next cookie. But I just want to say is that, you know, it's a, you never know how you're going to react to emergencies. You never know what's going to happen next. You think you do, but right when you think you've got life figured out or you think you've got something figured out, I promise you life's going to say, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> well, at least in my experience it has. Um, who knows about yours? Maybe you smooth sailing all the way through and, you know, well... You're a lucky one. I uh, Most people have bumps in the road, and that's what life is. You know when people say, I can't believe this happened to me. Why did this happen to me? Why did this happen to me? I'm like, why not? That's what life is, whether it's a horrible thing. I mean, how many people say, why did I win the lottery? Why did it happen to me? When it's good stuff, you don't sit there and say why. But when it's bad stuff, it's just what life is. Life is bumps and bruises and how you react to them and learning from them. Life is a wild ride. Anyway, I have talked enough. I wasn't going to talk at all. I did really good, didn't I, the first four cookies? Well, I say it's Crumble's fault because they gave me five cookies this week. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding, Crumble. Okay, let's finish this up. The Caramel Coconut Fudge, and this is a cold cookie. Oh, these cookies look so good this week. Look at that little baby. Look at the caramel right there. Oh, my fingers want to go away right in there. See how that finger can't resist it? <laughs> Um, it's a caramel coconut fudge, a classic vanilla sugar cookie, okay, topped with a caramelized toasted coconut spread and a milk chocolate drizzle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, I'm too excited. Okay. Let's break this puppy in half. Oh, I can't even break it in half, I don't think. It's so gooey, gooey, delicious. Soft and sweet. Okay, let me take a bite, right? I'm so excited I can hardly take a bite. Oh, goodness, does it look good. If this was on a chocolate cookie, I would be, like, probably on the roof of the car right now. Okay, let me take a bite. Oh. Oh, you all. Oh, this is beautiful. I think this is the best cookie I've ever had. From crumble. Mmm. What's nice about this is not over chocolatey. We just got caramel and toasted coconut. Now, if you don't like coconut, of course you're not gonna like it. But I love me coconut. It tastes like a coconut cookie. It's so good. I feel like if I ate over there, it tastes like like a um, almond joy. Let me taste. it. Mm. This is a this is a beautiful cookie. I mean, without a doubt, it's a ten. But I say, well, is it thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen? It is an awesome cookie. Mmm, it's rich, but it is divine. Mmm. Oh, you all. Stop the breaks, okay? I'm serious. You all. If you don't do anything this week, go pick this up. I am so glad I came. I'll be quite, quite frank with you. 
I'll be quite Barbara with you. <laughs> um, I saw the lineup and I said, well, I miss it. I miss it. But I am so happy and so surprised. I love these cookies. Okay, I'm going to say, number one, obviously, is the caramel coconut fudge. Number two is the, well, for me, the chocolate peanut butter chip. Well, that Neela bean, ah, we will never get rid of me. <laughs> Complete different taste. Divine. And I, you know, I'm not a vanilla sugar cookie person. Divine. I don't know. Maybe that's higher than the chocolate peanut butter chip, or they're both the same. They're both, like, off the charts. And then I would say, ah, oh, people, I'm going to be eating forever. I don't know if I talked about that one much, the Kentucky butter cake. Definitely a six or a seven. And let's say it's a six and a half. Those two, four, let's just say they're both sevens. I don't know. But they're not my thing. Cornbread, I think you'd really like them if you like cornbread. Oh, what a lineup this week, people. So good. So good that I think it deserves a song. So if you're in a hurry, well, tally ho, good neighbor. Good talking with you. But here we go. One, join with me. All righty. One and a two and a three. I got crumbs all in my mouth. Wait a minute. I'm going to start saying, um, you're going to go. That girl is so gross. Let me probably think that anyway. Oh, well. Crumble cookies. Crumble cookies. Soft and delicious. I'm all off key. Crumble cookies. Crumble cookies. Warm and delicious. Soft and sweet. Crumble cookies, crumble cookies. Oh, what a treat. They can't be beat. I'm singing, oh, what a treat. They can't be beat. Ba -dum -bump. <laughs> oh, you all, is so happy to see you and you all take care have a great week and until the next time you all take good care of yourselves okay because you are precious and i really mean that take good care and i'll talk to you later bye bye now